Chattahoochee River flood inundation map project. Uh, Commissioner, as you recall, this that your request came from the last meeting to this upcoming meeting. Good morning. As Chairman mentioned, we uh, presented this item to you at last meeting and it was tabled. Um, gave us time to go back and get a little additional information. Um, and actually, Emily Davenport, the Assistant City Engineer, who I've been working with on this, she's in the audience, so if you have any questions that I can't answer, you'd like to ask her, she's available as well. But basically, the project is still um, a flood inundation map. Um, it will run from, the project area will run from the um, stream gauge at Skipper Bridge Road all the way down to the Highway 133 Ridge there at the boat landing. Uh, <clears throat> so the little bit of additional information we were able to get from you, get for you, is the total project area um, is actually 14.1 square miles, <clears throat> and that's broken down five and a half square miles are inside the city of Alasta, 8.4 square miles are in the unincorporated county, and then roughly two, two tenths of a square mile is in the city of Remerton. Um, but probably the little more telling statistic is referencing the flood of 2009. In 2009, we had 94 buildings or structures that were affected that would be within this study area. And of those 94, 85 were inside the city limits, um, and nine were in the unincorporated county. Um, breaking it down even further, just so you have too much information and make a decision, um, there's actually 30, 3,600. Uh, 3,625 parcels in the study area, 2,746 of them are within the city limits, um, 615 of them are in the county, and 264 parcels are inside the city of Bremerton. Um, so again, uh, the, what we're asking is for some direction. The USGS would be, be um, the ones in charge of the project, and for them to implement the project right now, they have some leftover funds and it would require $80,000 cost share. Um, so really the issue is how we would want to split that up uh, between Lowndes County and the city of Alasta. Like I said, if you have any additional questions about any of the information I just presented or anything from the last meeting, either myself or Emily will be glad to answer those. Um, Remerton had square mileage they have 0.2 square miles um, and then they have 264 parcels um, but during the flood they didn't they weren't really affected um, but they do have 264 parcels that would be inside the, um, the study area and one of the advantages in addition to just people we know that flooded in the past this will also help um, uh, jason and carmel the planning and zoning department as future developments come in they can also use this information to make some decisions or at least advise the, the developers when they come in. You should look at this and kind of give them an idea of if they want to build there or making sure they build, you know, sufficient so that, you know, if it does get flooded, it shouldn't be, you know, they build kind of above the, the um, flood, or the flood plain. Mr. any questions? Davenport or Ms. Davenport. Uh, I'm sorry. Or Mr. Davenport. Or Mr. Davenport. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All the above. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said 264 in Remington. And please tell me the numbers again for Lowndes uh, and Lowndes County. Uh, Lowndes County has 615 parcels. And the city of Alaska has 2,746. If you will provide that information to Glenn, this should be to all the commissioners. One other thing I would also like to mention, um, <clears throat> just just so you know that um, we kind of did our due diligence. Uh, I know there's been, been some question about um, expanding the, the project area, and Emily and I both um, did suggest. We asked the USGS, could we? Um, expand this either further north or further south and uh, initially they, they thought they could and we obviously we've been looking at additional expense um, but once they got to looking at the area the area between skipper bridge where we're going to start this north and going up to 122 there's so many creeks and tributaries that come in um, really from a 
from a science standpoint, it just makes it too hard to model, um, you know, because there's so throw so many variables in there. Um, so they said they weren't able to model that. And it's the reason they stopped at 133 is just south of there is where the uh, Withlacoochee and Little Rivers come together. And that confluence, it, again, it creates for the computer models and, and all that. They said that just creates too much of a, um, it's too hard to model that and be accurate. So um, they would rather stick in the section. They know they can give us some pretty accurate data Maybe as, as technology develops or, or things change, they might can come back later. Um, but at this time, they said they really couldn't give us an effective product um, either any further north or further south. So, but just wanted to let you know we have, we have looked into that, and uh, that was the answer we received. Do you know what the total cost of this project is? I know it's eighty thousand dollars local. One hundred thirty-five thousand. Any other questions? Okay. Thanks, Just add a thank you very much for all your work.